Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today, we're going to be doing a kind of a part two to my Leaving Manjaro KDE and going to Garuda Gnome. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Well, the first thing I want to do is go over here and open up. And as you all know, the other day, I did a Goodbye Manjaro Linux KDE Hello Garuda Gnome. It was me leaving something that I'd been on for four years, jumping into a different operating system so I can provide the best content to my viewers. Well, I ran into some problems. Let me go ahead and minimize this. And really, what I want to show you real quick is if you do any kind of audio or video editing, Okay, I'm going to bring this up. So let's go ahead and drag this down. And I'm going to open up something that has some audio in it for you. So let's look at files. Let's open that up. Let's drag this over, open videos, go to eBuzz. And what has sound, we'll drag and drop that and close it. Now I'm going to drag this onto my timeline. Okay, we're going to continue. And I'm going to drag this down here. Zoom in on it a little bit so you can see. Now, if you're not familiar with audio or video of any kind, if you look down here, this is the audio wave. And basically, it gives you the ups and downs of your audio. And it's a lot easier to make cuts when you can see it. Okay. Now, when it's voices, you got a lot more peaks and valleys as opposed to just steady music because there's so much going on. Now, having said that, when I went to do my first video and edit it, on Garuda Gnome, this wavelength right here was almost a straight line all the way across, about three quarters of the way up, and you could see little bitty peaks and valleys. So what I did is I went over and looked, and I figured, you know what? I bet this has to do with Pulse Audio, and with Garuda Gnome coming with Pipewire out of the box, I figured, let me just get rid of Pipewire, and I'll switch over to Pulse Audio. So let me go over here. Open up Garuda Gnome. I have it in Gnome boxes, as you can tell. And if you come over here, you've got your settings manager and Garuda Assistant. So we'll go to Garuda Assistant. Okay, and it opens up. And then you go over to System Components. Now, here's where I ran into my problem. Right here, it says Pipewire Support. So what I did is I unchecked it, checked Pulse Audio, checked ALSA, checked Jack Support, and applied. Okay, I am in Gnome boxes right now. So I'm not going to push that button, but what it did is this whole screen flashed and then these unchecked themselves and Pipewire support stayed on. It was almost as if I was blocked from being able to make that change. So I thought it might be an issue. I restarted the system, did the same thing. It did the same thing. So I closed out of that and what I ended up doing was going to add and remove software and then just did a search for Pipewire. And it brought up Pipewire, Pipewire Alsa, Pipewire Jack, Pipewire Media Session. It showed everything that was installed. Okay. So all I did was go up and click Trash. It showed me everything it was going to get rid of. Got rid of it. I backed up, went to Pulse Audio. I installed everything for Pulse Audio. Everything was good. Sound was working. Restarted my system. Nothing. Black screen. Zero. All I got was a TTY. So I tried X in it to start nothing. So I went online. I spent six and a half hours trying to fight this, guys. And I'm just going to say this. Garuda Gnome is a great operating system. But if you're going to do video or audio editing, it's going to be really hard because of the pipe wire integration. It doesn't give you the ability to do editing at a faster pace. The video that I was able to do that I carried over from the prior install took me about three hours to do when it usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to close out of this. And as you can tell, I'm on a GNOME desktop for shutdown and delete it. Close. This is my GNOME desktop now. I am presently recording in OBS. Let's go over here. and. Zero Linux. I just did a video on their XFC version yesterday. 
in the midst of me trying to get everything fixed with my Garuda install yesterday, I received an email from TechZero saying the GNOME version of Zero Linux had dropped. So I went ahead, went over, zipped over, downloaded it, threw it in a virtual machine. It looked good, so I have installed it. And I will tell you this. Let me close out of that. It's a very nice looking desktop. It doesn't come with a lot of bloat out of nowhere. It's making my job a lot easier. I've already downloaded OBS, Caden Live, Boxes. Now, I will say that I love the Polo File Manager. This is the beta. It's Polo File Manager version 18.8.3 beta. I love the look of it. I love the interactions over here. You've got your usual suspects, and then you've got your home folders right here. What I did have a problem with, okay? Let me go ahead and get this out of the way right now, is when I plugged in a USB to transfer my downloads over, it wouldn't let me. I couldn't find a volume down here. I couldn't find any way to transfer those files over. So I ended up having to go over and download files so I could transfer those files and get them put onto the system. Now, I mean, overall, Polo looks really good out of the box. I think when they do some updates, it's going to definitely be easier to use. And another thing I do like about Zero Linux is it comes with the tiling manager out of the box. So I can go ahead and open up Polo and then open up my files. And they'll automatically tile side by side. Now I'm going to use files as a backup for when I have to transfer something off of a USB or have to do something integral that Polo won't let me get done. But I will say this, Polo is definitely a good looking file manager. And I think that if you do zip over to Zero Linux, download the operating system, put it on a USB or a virtual machine, I think you'll definitely be impressed. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the tiling back off. But other than that, you get the same base settings that you're going to get on any GNOME install. I've got wallpapers here. I went ahead and put my own on there because I didn't really like any of these. But wallpapers are nothing big. You've got your regular settings over here. And I'm going to close out of that. And I've already downloaded and Caden Live, OBS. I got my terminal here. Let's see what kind of resources we're using. If I open up top, right now I'm using about 2 gigs of RAM. But you also have to understand that I am running OBS in the background. So when that shuts down, that's going to be a lot lower. But I wanted to give you all a heads up, let you know that Garuda GNOME did not work out for me. And that I have switched over and I'm going to take zero Linux GNOME for the next 60 days. And put it through its paces and do all the content for my channel. It's going to let me do my editing a lot quicker. I just couldn't stay on an operating system that was going to slow me down editing wise because I have very little time to do these videos, so I need to be able to produce them and get them edited quickly and with expediency. But I will say this, if you get a chance, zip on over to Zero Linux. It's zerolinux.xyz. They've got the KDE version, which some people think is a little heavy. They have the XFCE version, and then they have the GNOME version that just came out. I will be doing a video on this one shortly probably Saturday or Sunday, but that's where I am on my switch from Manjaro. I went to Garuda Gnome, didn't work out, so now I'm on Zero Linux Gnome. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.